In this OpenView Labs best practice video, we want to show how software companies can better communicate with their target audience by segmenting their website design and content. By presenting the most relevant content to their website visitors, they can increase engagement, better differentiate themselves from competitors, and ultimately improve inbound marketing effectiveness. Regardless of your segmentation approach, there are a few things that you want to do to ensure that your segmentation strategy is fulfilling its goal of delivering clear, concise, and relevant messaging to your target visitor group. First, and most importantly, you need to encourage your visitors to self-select into one of your target segments in order to lead them to the segment-specific page and control the visit experience. Randa Solutions provides an excellent example of how to incorporate segment selection choice into your home page. As you can see, the home page is cleanly designed and beckons its visitors to self-select into the segment they belong to. States and government, system and school administrators, teachers, or parents and students. Red Prairie offers another good example of how to use a multi-level industry segmentation scheme to segment visitors. As you can see, with the Retail Industry page, the content within each track is specific to the industry. For industries that can be broken down further like the Retail segment, the website actually offers further segmentation within the Retail segment. This allows the website to really drill down into the details that matter for each segment. Location Labs takes a little different approach to segmentation, as it focuses its website on product use case segmentation. Location Labs' homepage asks visitors to self-select into the product use case that is of interest to them. The prominently displayed tab Safely, Family Safety, and Safe Driving capture the visitor's attention. AppSense provides a great example of how multiple segmentation methods can be combined on the website. This website has specific, segment-based information pages by industry and platform, but it also features, very prominently, persona-based segmentation. This is effective because by segmenting using personas, the company can explain the difficult concept of user virtualization and communicate the appropriate challenge and benefits that apply to a particular person. Second, your website needs to directly speak to the target audience by offering targeted content that is relevant to their interests and messaging that resonates with their needs. AppSense's website also hits at best practice number two. Each persona specific page is populated with experienced testimonials from people with similar roles and a description of how this product resolves a persona specific pain point with a chart to help visitors visualize the benefits of this solution. John Rain's webpage does a great job of providing segment-specific content that really speaks to the needs of the prospects as well. There are case studies with marquee customers in the industry like LadyGaga.com, highlighted links to product features that are important to those customers, and jargon-free content that does not overwhelm the interested visitor. While the Automation Anywhere website does not have segmented content pages, it has a good way to include persona-specific videos on the home page that people can check out right away. Here is an example of the CFO testimonial video. This is a great example of an effective content type that can be customized for each segment. Central Desktop goes even further in developing segment-specific content as it developed a segment-specific website called Social Bridge Marketing that speaks exclusively to its potential customers in the marketing agency sector. By separating the segment-specific content out of the main web page, and putting it on a separate website, Central Desktop provides itself with more freedom in design and language. Central Desktop can adopt a whole different design and feel and can afford to highlight value propositions and features that are exclusive to the marketing agency prospects. These differences jump out at you when you move from the main page to the segment targeted page. The content and messaging around this segment is completely different from what Central Desktop uses on its main website this allows Central Desktop to really hone in on the key needs of the target segment instead of just repackaging its features and benefits on a parallel web page. Third, utilize dropdowns, sliding panels, white space, callout text styles, and limit the amount of content included on the segment specific web page so that these pages are more reader friendly and easier to navigate. 
Too many companies try to cram segment-specific pages with too much information and choose a copy layout that is not reader-friendly. This mistake will cost you dearly in reader engagement as it overwhelms visitors. The Decision Lens website does a good job at avoiding this mistake. The segment-specific web pages have a nice drop-down banner at the top that serves both as the title of the page and the segment selection tool. It is large and prominent enough to get the attention of the visitor. The two-column format with the main text on the left and some expandable bars to the right make this page easy to read. The main text is highlighted with bold characters as well as highlighted customer names, which capture the attention of the reader right away and shows that the product is used by some of the biggest names in the industry. Fourth, diversify the types of information or content. mTaurus does an excellent job with this on their segment-specific web pages. As you can see on their energy, oil, and gas web page, they offer a relevant customer testimonial, an industry article, two white papers, a webinar, and a press release. This variety helps show the deep and ongoing engagement mTaurus has in the particular segment, giving visitors assurance in the company's expertise and product offering in the segment. This information is also well organized in the scroll bar on the right side of the page for easy navigation. Taleo is another company that does a good job of providing a rich set of content that is segment specific. For example, in the Retail Solutions page, Taleo provides targeted case studies, reports and white papers, as well as explanations of main use cases, product data sheets, and even customer videos, all of which are accessible with a single mouse click. I also wanted to point out that Taleo has thoughtfully included navigational tools on both the top menu and sidebar to help visitors easily navigate through the page and find the content they are most interested in. This is essential to providing a smooth, effortless browsing experience for any visitor to the website, especially when the website segmentation strategy becomes as deep and complex as in Taleo's case. Fifth, provide segment-focused interactive content that both shows your degree of specialization, knowledge, and experience in their market and increases visitor engagement. JDA has created original, industry-specific content for its industry pages that shows the company's in-depth knowledge and involvement with a specific industry. For example, on JDA's retail industry page, they offer a free retail operations self-assessment to their visitors. This is a useful tool that all visitors will immediately find value in and give them a reason for visiting their web page. Central Desktop has created a segment-specific interactive product walkthrough for its Social Bridge product that draws attention to the most common use cases and features that a marketing agency would use in Central Desktop. This is clearly meant to speak to prospects in that industry and only them. This feature also adds user interactivity to the website, which also comes with the benefit of increased visitor engagement. In summary, we have covered five best practices for effectively segmenting your website to improve the visitor experience. Here they are again. One, use visual and interactive cues to encourage visitors to self-select into your target segments so that you can control their visit experience. Two, directly speak to the target audience by offering targeted content that is relevant to their interests and messaging that resonates with their needs. Three, use design elements to limit the amount of textual content and make the web page more reader friendly and easier to navigate. Four, diversify the information that you use to populate your segment specific web pages. And five, provide the segment focused interactive content that both shows your degree of specialization, knowledge, and experience in their market and increases visitor engagement. Now you're ready to start planning how to effectively segment your website. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation.